Now, new research suggests infrared light therapy could potentially help people living with dementia. There's been a pilot study that used a helmet to beam infrared light into healthy volunteers' brains, and it found improvements in their memory, motor function and information processing skills. Well, tell us more about what this research may mean for the thousands of people living with dementia is the leader of the study, Dr Paul Chazot. Have I said that right? Is it Chazot? Uh, it's Chazot. I blame my father. It's French. It's right. <laughs> ah, bonjour. Um, from bonjour. Durham University. Um, and I, I, I've got to be very careful. When we talk about stories offering hope uh, for sufferers of dementia, we've, we've got to be careful. But, but just tell us why this, this particular... Uh, experiment does seem to be showing some hope. OK, you're absolutely right. Yes, uh, we have to be careful. Um, we don't want to say say too much at this stage. I mean, yes, I've been working on this project for over 20 years, and uh, we've reached a stage now that, based on our, our research, we've managed to do some clinical work in, in humans. Uh, and uh, the early indications are in, in these pilot studies that, uh, yes, this, this treatment has potential for, for helping uh, certainly memory processing and, and other aspects of, of, of behavior within uh, middle-aged individuals that don't have dementia, but also actually, importantly, uh, in, in mild to moderate Alzheimer patients, this, this therapy has been trialed as well. In, and we found in both situations an improvement in in uh, in memory performance particularly in the dementia the alzheimer cases where we actually we saw quite dramatic improvement in, in memory performance just from a simple eight week treatment um with this with this therapy you just need to use the helmet it's a simple light helmet as, as you've seen in the pictures uh, that lies it's placed on the head and press a button and it, it's it's got pre-programmed um, delivery of the light is six to ten minutes twice a day uh, like I said for for eight weeks we saw quite a quite a dramatic uh, improvement in memory performance in in these uh, mild to moderate Alzheimer patients and more recently this current study in in middle-aged individuals uh, were tested and again uh, over a three month period using the same protocol the same helmet uh, device uh, they they displayed improvements in some degrees of um, long and short term memory and, and motor function uh, so yes it's you know tentatively it's quite an exciting development it fits with our 20 years of research in this area where we we've sort of discovered potential mechanisms and how this how this light works it's a particular wavelength of infrared. It's very important, particular wavelength of infrared. Not all infrared wavelengths, you know, give you this this beneficial effect. So the if the uh, the wavelength is is around ten seventy nanometers, and this wavelength penetrates the brain uh, quite dramatically. It actually gets into the brain quite deeply, and that's one of the first reasons why we used we we uh, studied this wavelength. So the skull actually acts as a lens, and it focuses the light quite deep. Maybe this level into the brain four or five inches in, into the brain 10 centimeters um, into the brain and it it triggers lots of positive biological effects within the brain that are relevant to aging and relevant to to uh, alzheimer's disease and, and dementia so what, what are you hoping the, to be the very best outcome from this research is this something you could see being uh, rolled out as kind of a, a clinical treatment absolutely but we do need to obviously test it in you know more people this was done in uh, pilot studies of between 30 and 60 individuals so we do need to roll it out we do need to get it tested in the uk uh, uh for 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 dementia cases and that's you know one of my first jobs is to get to get funding to be able to carry out that trial to demonstrate further efficacy uh in in more patients and actually one thing i didn't mention is it seems to work in both men and women equally which is good and important to show because dementia does affect men and women differently. Um, so th that was one thing we, we, we got out of the recent recent uh, clinical studies. So yes, we want to roll out to more individuals and demonstrate that it is effective. Another important thing is that we've seen no indication of any side effects, which is again, very important, which uh, uh, we need to, to, to establish at this stage. So yes, it's, you need to roll it out to more people and, uh, you know,
to demonstrate that it is an effective treatment. But so far, so good. It's early days, but you know the indications are there. It's a very rational approach. It might seem a bit space age, I guess, to some people think. You know, you, you know, you need drugs, you know, to do this. And actually, up to now, most of the approaches have been single target drugs, which is never going to work, in my opinion, in a complex disease like Alzheimer's disease. So a lot of you know millions of pounds have been invested in single drugs for single targets uh, over the years with very little outcome. This is a, a non-invasive, safe form of treatment that actually gives you lots of different biological effects that uh, are very important and very significant for, for, for something like Alzheimer's disease and even Parkinson's disease as well. Actually, some of the cases we, we used um, in the States for the, for the clinical trial turned out to be Parkinson's disease sufferers with dementia who were diagnosed later. So, you know, has potential in Parkinson's disease as well, the second biggest, um, you know, brain disease that affects well, Paul, humans. Paul, I've never worked on one thing for 20 years. I don't think I've worked in one place for 20 years. So <laughs> what's it like when you are so uh, obsessed with one particular thing? And I know this is a very small study. It's a tiny study. But when you first realise what, what you obviously hope uh, it, it is capable of doing. How did that feel? Pretty good, basically. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a long time, but uh, uh, when you're in the science game, actually, you know, you're a bit slightly mad. And, uh, you know, you have to have a certain mindset that, you know, there will be, there'll be setbacks. But, you know, I've always looked, I've been looking for the last few years at different ways that we can tackle complex brain diseases and you know this is actually only one of two or three other strategies we have which is the same sort of idea the multiple multiple mechanisms but single treatments so you know this is one of actually three different ways we're approaching this uh and at the moment this is the you know the furthest ahead so yes it is it's very exciting when you see when i saw the data coming out of the particularly the dementia trial when we saw you know 20 percent improvement in memory performance in and an eight-week treatment which is absolutely phenomenal really isn't you know it's not touched by anything else out there uh but like i said i'd have to be careful you know it's it's early days it was like you said only tested in small numbers so we just need to increase those numbers uh and and demonstrate you know further efficacy so yes yeah as a scientist it's you know it's, it's one of the you know you have ups and downs all the time but it's, this you know is this enough. is certainly one of the this is certainly an optimism. Yeah. Well, many congratulations. Many gra and well, we Thank all you. share. We all share your hope that this, the, the, this offers what, what perhaps there's a sign it does. Paul Chazot, thank you so much for your time this morning.